Hello everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back to another video. We're mixing things up. We're doing something different for once on this channel. Uh, welcome to Train Simulator 2019, created by Dovetail Games, and you guys are looking at Reno, Nevada. This is Donner Pass in uh, TS 2019, and uh, well, this is a route that has bugged me for a very long time. As you guys can see, well, it may not look uh, wrong or anything like that, but none of Donner Pass is accurate. Um, now, I think that Donner Pass was created in the game to be set back into like the 1950s, 60s, something like that. Um, so they, they modeled at least the rails to that time era. However, uh, the surrounding city is like a mix of modern stuff and a mix of old stuff and it's really not accurate whatsoever. Uh, so actually in that city portion, um, the rails go underground, they go underneath all those roads. Uh, so there are no existing like crossing gates throughout the city. Um, I've seen a few pictures online, or at least I've tried to search of pictures of Donner Pass back in like the 50s and the 60s. And yes, the uh, tracks were at that ground level, but I think within the past maybe 20 years or so, um, they've uh, put the tracks um, through the ground just to mim minimize, I think, the, the car traffic that, that is on that ground level through the city. Um, so yeah, that, that's very outdated. And just the surroundings in Reno, uh, it's actually, if you look on Google Maps, it's actually very deserty. There's So there's not too much in the way of trees or, or pine trees there by the, uh, the tracks. So uh, it just, all in all, it's just, it's really outdated, I would say. Um, so I think, yeah, it, it's time for Donner Pass to get modernized. Uh, I know Cajon Pass, uh, someone did modernize that, and it looks outstanding. So I hope to do the exact same type of work um, here in Donner Pass. Uh, so here's a before and after. The previous one was just from a free roam scenario that I went to the editor just to show you guys. Here is what I've done so far on my modernized version of Donner Pass. As you see, I've laid some uh, new track down and I've taken away a ton of surrounding assets. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm pretty much just going to redo it, redo it from scratch. Uh, and I'm trying not to go too overboard. I think this is the area I'm going to work with that you know the width of you know the tracks from where I've deleted props it's probably as much as I'm going to edit um, I may do more uh, for instance that highway system I might do a little bit more you guys will see in a later episode um, but yeah even up to the city there's a lot of things outside that uh, I'm going to be deleting there's a few assets I kept only because uh, the buildings seem to match up with uh, the Google map overlay and so I decided oh, I keep that and there's still a lot I need to delete there through the city but at least I got halfway through uh, Reno there and we will continue editing this replacing the track uh, making it uh, more realistic so yeah there, there's your flyover of kind of a before and after of what I've done I decided not to record the whole takedown process because that's kind of boring uh, and annoying um, but uh, the building part is what you guys want to see and so that's what we are going to do so uh, yes I have what you can do if you didn't know that already uh, in train simulator uh, the dovetail games version you can uh, do Google map overlay I know a lot of people lately have been tra having issues doing that um, when you go to the Google developer console or whatever it's called you just have to put in uh, some sort of uh, billing information so put in like your debit or credit card information that way you can actually use the service um, you get $300 free of credit to use things within the uh, Google developer console however Google map overlay and the static map API um, it really doesn't use that much money um, I don't think you'll even use $300 um, by doing this uh, I am checking I do have the developer console picked up uh, or opened up while I'm doing this just to make sh just to kind of see how much money it actually is that you know I'm, I'm using uh, through the service um, but it's not that much um, and you should be able to use you shouldn't have to use all the $300 free in credit, um, so which is really nice. Alrighty, so I know I remember editing back. There were some things I was going to talk about, but uh, I'm just going to keep talking. This is the first time I've kind of done a cover of, um, or kind of, I don't know, a walkthrough, I guess. I've never done a speed build before, so this is new to me, but I'll get the hang of it. <laughs> I'll watch more Approach Medium uh, videos just to get a feel for how he does things. 
Uh, Alright, let's talk about the track I'm using. So you guys see I'm deleting a ton of stuff. There's the Google Map overlay that I'm constantly adjusting. I love playing with that thing. Uh, but it gets annoying sometimes. It sometimes fades to the ground, so I got bothered some. You can see how much, you know, the, the track the track isn't even aligned at all. I think this entire route's just off by a lot. Uh, Reno and, and Sparks Yard back there is just off. Um, but the track I am using is Steven's Pass track. And I will also be using assets from Stevens Pass as well as Pacific Surfliner. Uh, those are two um, Western routes that I think have great assets and they go well with Donner Pass. Um, the track, uh, Stevens Pass track, I think is the, the best track um, out there. Um, so that is what I'm using here to re uh, kind of track <laughs> the, the, uh, the map. Uh, so yeah, you guys see I'm doing that. I delete. There's a lot of props that I haven't deleted or maybe I missed. Those light props there are super annoying. Um, so yeah, just continuing to delete those. At this point, I got, I got to the point where I just realized that the initial track I laid down was not even close to um, where it was there in the Google Map overlay. And a lot of these parts where I fade in and out because I'm cutting clips, it's usually because I took a good, like, two or three minutes going back to the actual Google map. So I pulled that up and I, you know, I kept looking and checking to see, okay, you know, where are these, you know, tracks located and it's, you know, it gives me some reference point. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm just going back and forth with deleting the previous track and then adding the new track. Uh, so here's a technique you guys are going to see if you, if you need technique help with, with track building. So as you can see that I'm having trouble right now getting the curve to line up with the straightaways. So you can see right there, I I delete the curve, but I keep that straight part. And then all I do is I just put that curve piece back down uh, to where, you know, my hopefully my new alignment will work out. So as you see, the previous one, it was turning too sharply. So all I did was I kept the straight parts, I deleted the curve, and then I made sure when I put that curve piece down, I just kind of made it so it wasn't as sharp. And uh, yeah, here's another example of it right here. When I looked further down, it wasn't, it was way too, um, still too sharp of a curve, so I did the same thing there. You can see I kind of off-center it a bit. Hopefully that will straighten it back out, and that will. <laughs> I know that for a fact because I did this. Um, so yeah, it straightened out pretty well, at least for this area right here. Um, I'm not concerning myself too much with the mass of the yard. And I, it, when I was editing through this, I think I should have focused more on the yard first, but I don't know, there's something about that area there leading up to the city that I thought was very important. Uh, I guess this is a good time to mention as I work on kind of like that yard entry. I did work on modernizing Donner Pass like a year or two ago. Um, I had actually done quite a bit. I had gotten the track updated, I had gotten the highway system next to it, a bunch of the roads, and I had even gotten portions of the track underneath Reno updated and uh, it vanished. <laughs> it completely gone away, and I think partly was because I was trying to transfer the route to another computer, and I accidentally renamed the route in the files, which was a horrible mistake. I should not have touched that. Um, so yeah, I, I lost what I originally had, but I also think that original route, I didn't do that great of a job on. And so this time around, I'm completely redoing the rails, making sure that they line up perfectly and uh, doing a better job with that. Uh, so yeah, so this is take two of trying to redo Donner Pass. And Donner Pass is going to take a while. I don't think all of it's going to be redone. A lot of the track is probably going to stay where it's at. Uh, it's going to get tricky to edit. Uh, Donner when we get up to the grades and elevation changes and whatnot, that's going to be a pain for me to work on. I'm not an experienced track builder on Train Simulator, um, but you know, I, I have enough experience to where I can, I can get the basics uh, down. And I'm still learning, I'm still trying to find videos online and looking through forums just to see um, what, how, you know, how people use the editor. Uh, obviously, if you have any good tips, uh, be sure to leave them in the comments below, I'll definitely uh, read them. Um, as you see, I'm jumping back between Sparks Yard and then this little, like, junkyard over here, um, scrap yard. Uh, just kind of, you know, filling in track. That, that's the biggest thing with this episode is just focusing on the track, making sure we get... 
um, kind of that base canvas down. I guess the track is like that that canvas, uh, and then everything around it's just kind of you know building up on it, you know, continuing to paint and uh, get that detail in. So yeah, that rail right there. So what I did there was I used a track asset that didn't have the gravel track bed and then the very last portion there before I connected it to the main line I went back to that main line um, track so it lines up and that actually I did a really good job of lining the track up um, for those who for those who maybe played trains and they've played train simulator you guys know that the editor is completely different for both uh, I personally think the trains editor is like way easier but then there are some faults into that which I personally don't like uh, train simulator has a lot and that in that includes uh, the track laying I personally don't don't like it but um, I've grown on it and have used it for so long that it doesn't really bug me that much uh, so you can see here there's another this was another part of the original Donner that was not right at all was this um, bit right here this little track that goes north I don't know where that route goes and I don't know if I'm gonna continue it north uh, but if there are businesses at the end of it, I may look into continuing that uh, route north. It's the same uh, when you get into Sparks Yard back there behind us. Uh, there are a bunch of businesses that I might add on uh, that might create opportunities for uh, some more, uh, what's it called, scenario packs and such uh, that creators can, can make. So we're here back in Sparks Yard, and this is the point where I noticed, uh-oh, my tracks are not aligning, and that kind of concerned me, and I thought, oh, great, I'm going to have to redo everything. However, I, I, went, I flew back up, had the, um, you know, had the Google Map overlay turned on, and I noticed that the original track from the you know, original map was also off. So I think I have the most realistic line. It's going to be the closest, um, but yeah, that will definitely be... Yeah, you can even see it there. It's just my track is, for whatever reason, more lined up than the original. Uh, so yeah, I'm just continuing to lay track down, you know, just, it's never ending. Again, it's such a huge, huge route that I don't know how, I don't know if I can fully modernize the entire route. I think, sadly, some of the old track is going to have to stay. I wish there was an option to just replace track like if you can take the original track and then say hey I want to use this track asset instead of the original track ac uh, asset I I thought there was something but I haven't been able to find that trick or find that option so um, there may be places where yeah I'm just laying down you know it's just gonna be Steven's past track butted up with Donner past track just the most uh, I can do so you can see here I'm working on this is a I think a container yard uh, which is definitely going to be redone uh, and you see I'm having I, I'm ha I was having a lot of troubles with this for whatever reason the tracks were not lining up like it straightens out in this bit right here but then right where it gets to those cars for whatever reason like curves I don't know why it did that um, but I, I wanted it straight even from like just looking at it on Google Maps it looked straight so I don't know I don't know what it is I mean once you get to like the, the ground level of the maps it just that perspective changes completely, which is so weird. So I decided to uh, do that same technique, just go back to that curve um, bit, and then just kind of, you know, lengthen that, that curve. I don't really know what the proper words are, uh, but lengthen that out and then continue that straight. Even this part right here, this just gave me a headache, but um, I eventually just kind of gave up with making it perfect. And it was at this point I thought at the back of my head, yeah, I shouldn't be that picky about the rails moving forward because I have so much more to do. I have so many more assets to lay down uh, to make it realistic uh, or at least modernized. You know, it, it, it'll get to a point to where I'm doing so much that, well, first off, for those that don't have that great of PCs, you won't even be able to play it <laughs> at the full, fr uh, you know, the full, you know, asset level. You have to turn your, your asset density down. Um, however, you know, it's also going to get to the point to where it's not going to be perfect. You know, I'm going to make it as close as possible. Uh, it's not, again, not going to be perfect. Uh, even this part right here, I shouldn't have just kept this track straight and <laughs> not worried about this little curve. But, um, you know, whatever it takes to make it authentic, you know, that's just kind of the idea behind it. Um, I felt like, and, and you got, a lot of you guys can agree, the original Donner Pass is not up to date. So, you know, 
I'm just taking that initiative to update it and you know, it, hey, it gives me a reason to upload something to my YouTube channel. Uh, I've always wanted to do some type of building series, but I'm not great with creating fantasy routes. And I think that, you know, d using a existing route and just kind of updating it and modernizing it, I think that's a great way to put some building content on the channel. So right here, I'm just kind of making sure everything lines up. You guys saw that I had that weld that weld tool to help weld the tracks together. That was actually something I completely forgot existed and there was some other route I was working on that uh, it just drove me crazy that it wasn't working. Uh, so yeah, I'll be sure to give plenty of useful tips to come um, as we go through this. Obviously, if you have your own, uh, please share them in the comments below and I'm sure those tips and tricks will help us get through this modernization uh, uh, series. <laughs> so yeah, that is it. I'm not great with these talkovers, but I'm sure again I'll get better at that here. Some little flybys putting the GP38-2 Union Pacifics out. And as you guys can see, we got a lot to do. Then the next episode, I plan to uh, work on the road system and add some more buildings in this area. Uh, hopefully by the third episode, we will then uh, track back to the yard. And then maybe the fourth and fifth episodes will be back at Reno. That'll be it. Thank you guys for uh, joining me. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys will uh, get the uh, videos uh, popped up in your notifications. And that has been episode one of Modernizing Donner Pass. Again, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode.